if you have received an inherited pension, then it can be tempting to take all the money out of the pension straight away and put it in your bank account. After all, pensions can appear complicated and it's much easier to start making spending plans if you know all the money is safe in your own bank account. Now, if you've inherited a pension off someone, it's likely to be a significant amount of money. But before rushing off and making any decisions, consider keeping the inherited pension inside a pension. This could save you a fortune in taxes and make you better off in the long run. My name's Carl Roberts. I'm a chartered regulated financial advisor. Welcome to the channel. In these videos, I'm looking to try and help you find true financial independence so you can really enjoy your life. We cover topics such as retirement planning, investing, building real wealth and saving you taxes. So for the purpose of this video, I'm going to be talking about a defined contribution pension, also known as a money purchase pension. This is the type of pension where you pay into, your employer might pay into as well, and there's a pot of savings that you invest. We're not talking about defined benefit pensions, also known as final salary pensions or the state pension. Now, if you have been nominated as a beneficiary of one of these defined contribution pensions, you should have the option to keep the money inside a pension. Now, don't be put off by the paperwork you receive from the pension provider. They may bamboozle you with lots of different options, one being the fact you could secure a lifetime income, also known as annuity. Another option they might promote is the fact you could just take the cash lump sum out of the pension. But the option you should be looking for is moving the pension money into a beneficiary drawdown pension. Now, even if the provider does not have this option available, you should be able to transfer the pension funds into a different provider of your own choice that does offer the option of a beneficiary drawdown pension. Now, I've covered in a separate video how you go about claiming a deceased person's pension. So once you've followed the steps in that video, you should ultimately end up with your own beneficiary drawdown pension. It'd be a really good idea to set up online access to this pension and make sure you download the app if you have one, because this is going to make managing that pension much easier when it comes to picking the investments and controlling the withdrawals you want to make. Now, if you're a beneficiary of multiple pensions, then you can still combine them all together in one new pension account. But the way the rules work, it's likely that these drawdown beneficiary drawdown pensions will still need to be kept as separate different pots so you can still combine them onto one new platform but you'll just have separate lines for the separate different uh, beneficiary pensions once you have your own beneficiary drawdown pension set up don't forget to complete your own nomination or expression of wish form so you can choose who your beneficiaries are should something happen to you so then that they can inherit the pension easily so why should you do this? Why should you keep an inherited pension inside a pension? Why not just take out all the money and, and keep it in your own bank account or spend it? Well, there's four major benefits of keeping an inherited pension inside a pension. And I'll run through these now. So the first one is, is the emotional benefits of keeping the pension. By keeping the pension, it's like you're keeping a part of the deceased. You're taking ownership of something that they worked hard and saved hard to build. So rather than taking it as cash and mixing it up with your own money, by keeping it in a pension, you're going to ring fence those funds. So you always know what the deceased person has left you and it acts as a reminder of them. A beneficiary drawdown pension doesn't need to be touched. You could leave it forever inside a pension and ultimately then pass it down to your own children. You can pass it down when you've gone and they can keep it in their own pension. And you can say to them that this is a nice little present from their grandparents. So the second major benefit is the investment benefits of keeping your inherited pension in a pension. So if you were to take out the cash lump sum option rather than the beneficiary drawdown approach, it means moving this money into your own bank account, a savings account where you're going to start earning interest. But you're only going to earn interest if you actually take the time to look and find out who's paying the best rate. And not many people will even do that. But let's say you do do that. You find the best interest rate you can on these, on these new cash savings. History has told us that over time, cash interest rates have a very poor record of keeping up with inflation. So what this means is that over the long run, ultimately, you're losing money in real terms by keeping it in cash. But by keeping the pension in a pension, you'll have access to a huge range of investment opportunities. 
depending on the provider you choose. You could invest the money in individual stocks and shares. You could invest the money in investment funds, gold, other commodities, and much more. Now, if you don't need this money that you've inherited in a pension and you're prepared to invest it for the long term, let's say 10 or 15 years or more, there's a very good chance that if you invest it in global equity, you're going to see superior growth over and above that of inflation over the years. The third major benefit is the income benefits that you can have if you keep the money in a pension. A beneficiary drawdown pension offers you lots of flexibility. You can delay taking the money out indefinitely. You could take a cash lump sum anytime. You could take lots of different cash lump sums. Or you could set up a monthly withdrawal and turn these off, turn them on again, increase them, decrease them. It's very, very flexible. And all of this means you can adapt your retirement plans. So perhaps this new pension money allows you to phase your retirement. You start to reduce your hours at work and be paid less while at the same time offsetting the reduction of income by withdrawals from your pension. However you start to access your drawdown pension, nothing is set in stone. You can change your mind at any point and you can always take the whole lot out in the future if you needed to. Okay, the fourth major benefit of keeping an inherited pension in a pension, and this is the big one, is the tax benefits. Now I should caveat that there are different rules if the deceased died before reaching age 75 or if they died after reaching age 75. So if they died after reaching age 75, then the withdrawals you make from a beneficiary drawdown pension will be added to your other income that you've received in the same tax year and will be taxed via income tax at your marginal rate. But if the deceased died before age 75, and there is no income tax due on any withdrawals for the rest of your life. So if you were to take out the cash lump sum option when you are notified that you've inherited a pension, you're obviously going to place that money in your bank account or a savings account and start earning interest like we've already said. Well, that interest, particularly if the pension is a lot of money, is going to start being taxed. But anything you keep inside a pension and invest... Any growth, any dividends that you earn inside a pension is all tax free. So there's no income tax, there's no dividend tax on dividends earned inside the pension and there's no capital gains tax if you sell funds inside the pension. Do you really want to be moving money that's in a tax free environment inside the pension into your own bank account where it starts to become taxable? So if the deceased did die before age 75, this new inherited pension you've got could be a really good way to boost your own pension pot through your workplace pension scheme. So let me just explain an example. Let's say you're working, you've got the workplace pension scheme, you're paying in, your employer pays in. You usually have the option to pay in more. Now, if you do this and remove it from your salary, clearly you're going to be paid less. But what you could then do is take withdrawals from the inherited pension to offset the income you're losing from your salary because you're putting more into the workplace pension scheme. And the reason why you want to put more into the workplace pension scheme is because you get a really good tax relief benefit every time you pay money into a pension. And it's supercharged benefit if you're a 40% taxpayer because you're effectively going to get all that tax back going into your pension if you make pension contributions. And finally, if you keep the inherited pension in a pension, you're protecting your own children from paying inheritance tax on this money in the future. Because if you take the money out of a pension, take the lump sum cash option, that money is then going to form part of your own estate. On your death, up to 40% of this money may be taxed and lost to inheritance tax. But whilst the money stays inside a pension, it is not subject to inheritance tax. So ultimately, if you don't get to spend all of the inherited pension, it can pass down to your own children without them paying any inheritance tax on it. It's also much easier and quicker to access the pension funds as you don't need to wait for the will. It's the expression of wish form that nominates who's the beneficiary of the pension. And it's much easier to change this nomination expression of wish form whenever you want rather than having to write a new will every time. So I hope you've I've given you some really good ideas and benefits of why it really makes sense to keep an inherited pension inside a pension. I hope you found the video really useful. 
please don't forget to subscribe to the channel because there's lots more videos coming soon on those topics I mentioned earlier, building wealth, investing in the right areas, saving taxes, retirement planning. Until next time, take care.